Your mom's still alive? No. She's not? No. Okay. Um, you did have a good relationship with her? Yes. Um, how tough is Mother's Day for you? Bro, Mother's Day is one of the toughest days when your mother passed away. It's not even just Mother's Day. It's every day. It's every day, bro. It's like you have to think. I literally think about this shit every day. Like it's a constant thought. Like, damn, because you find yourself having these moments like at the moment where you would have called your mom or your mom would have called you or just to hear a voice or to hear a laugh. Or just to say I love you. It's it. It's, it's an everyday struggle, bro. So my heart goes out to everybody who lost their mom. Mother's Day is definitely a hard day. If you if you have your mother and you see this clip, call her and tell her you love her every chance you get. They never get tired of hearing that. It means more to her than it does to you. But you'll appreciate these things later on in your life. How did she pass away, if you don't mind me asking? Cancer. Fuck cancer, man. My mother battled cancer for 20 years, so yeah. 20 years? Yes, bro. That's the mind-boggling part. Never drank, never smoked, never did none of that extra shit. What kind of cancer Breast got her? Breast cancer. Mm. All that shit. Very tough. Very tough, man. Uh, when it was Mother's Day, though, did you have a favorite Mother's Day memory? Um, Bro, my mom was... was uh, she was really like a, uh, like a, a, I'm gonna see how I can put it to make it make sense. My mother was, was hood refined. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, she used to always like money. So, yeah, we had a couple mother's days where she broke the racks out. My mother been flashing money before rappers, if that makes sense. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, what's one thing your mom did for you that you will never forget? Um,. Could be a variety of things. What's one you can share with us, though? My mother always taught me to never give up on anything. You know what I'm saying? She always showed me that life is about a process. It's not always going to be beautiful. It's not always going to be pretty. And you're not always going to, it's not always going to be about you. The world don't revolve around you. So you need to do whatever you need to do to make sure that you straight. If you got to cry, you need to hurry up and do it because the world going to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? And nobody has no sympathy for you. You're only safe on the inside of your house, and that's it. You need to take care of what you need to take care of as soon as possible. And that's, that's just the way that she operated. She ever do comedy herself? No, but my mother was hilarious. She was. Yeah, she was a hilarious. Like, she could have easily been a comedian. Was she supportive of your comedy path, your comedy career? My mother was always very supportive of all of my endeavors, man. Because she used to always say at the, you know, at the end of the day, you got to live with that. As long as you happy doing what you, you want to do and living the way that you want to live, and you can say that you can stand by that as a man, I support that. She never tried to push me one way or the other. Everything that I told her that I wanted to do, she made sure that I had all the resources and all the love and support that you could ever have to do anything. With the comedy career path, though, in particular, was she supportive right away, or did she have to warm up to that? No, she was supportive right away. She always believed in me because she came to, like, my early shows when I was a year in, or, you know, a year and a half just coming and watching my progress. And then I, I can look back at this footage where I can hear that I made my real mother laugh, not just because I'm her son, and then it's just like she gave me a blessing just to see me be able to create and say these things that she's like, damn, you know how your parents can see you doing some shit and then they recognize that you got an exceptional talent and be like, my child did that. Yeah, it was one of those. Now, it's one thing for a parent to be supportive. It's another for their parent to like their child's uh, stuff. Yeah. Um, she enjoyed the comedy you did? Yeah. She always enjoyed my comedy, bro. Because my brand of humor and the things that, like the way that I approach comedy, that's just the way that I was taught comedy from the family. Like the delivery, the timing, the, you know, the callbacks. I, I got a lot of mine. 
comedic timing from my mother. And she, I felt that's why I said she could have easily been a comedian. Mm. She just had impeccable timing. Have you used her in some of your jokes before? Well, you, yeah, of course. She's definitely inspired some of my materials and stuff like that. But now with my mother being past, you know, being deceased and passed away, I, I don't really talk about that too much on stage. I just feel like, like this is my approach to comedy. I mean, it's, you can say everything, but I, I don't want to bring everything to the stage, if that makes sense. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, what's funny about that? Some things, and I don't do a lot of jokes about my son. Some things I just, I'm just not going to be presenting like that. Mm. I just feel like it doesn't have a place just yet. I see. You know what I mean? When she was alive, though, you incorporated her? Yeah, of course. Uh, what I, mean, I still have some stuff about my mom, or, you know, things that she said or experiences that we went through, but it's not like I have any specific jokes about my mom being dead. That's more like white comedy to me. Like, well, I didn't mean like that, but... Shit, like, yeah, my mother's dead. Like, I don't fuck around too tough like that. People do do stuff like that, but I meant, you know, you may incorporate her as a joke that has nothing to do with her death. Yeah, most definitely. And even the stuff that she did inspire her, probably. I mean, it's not just like a tag where you can say, oh, that's what it was from his mom. What did she think of your jokes about her when she was around and she was able to see it. I actually recorded all the, the jokes that I did about my mom and at a show that she was at, so she liked them. I had her laughing. <laughs> she didn't scold you for anything? I she didn't say, hey, That's what tone it down? No, nah, man. You know what's crazy? The only person who was like, who, who did do that was my stepdad. He like, hey, 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 like <laughs> I was like, man, you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Not like, oh no, uh, anger shit, but it was just like, bro, you tripping. She dying laughing. You can shut the hell up. But my stepdad just weirdo like that. He'll be the one who'll try to say that shit. But yeah, it was, that, he was the only one who ever said some shit like that. Mm. Like try to say something about something I said going too far. Out of everybody in my family, like not my real mother, not my real father. Not any of my aunts and uncles, my stepdad. Just because he wants to be like the moral, like the moral man, authority. Like, man, shut the fuck up. 